Um, I, I think it would just kind of all, all boil down to my confidence. Um, I was just I was able to tweak a couple of things on the mound, and that kind of gave me what I needed to have the the confidence on the mound to, to do what I needed to do. Specifically, you know, what, what did you tweak? Did you start throwing more pitches or certain pitches more? Or what? Um, no, I just um, I just kind of started getting my hands a little higher, and it just helped me, you know, break my hands and stay on top of the baseball and. I don't know. I just felt like that's that was my turning point. When you kind of look at the numbers, uh, the, the strikeouts have always been there, but now the ERA and the walks are down. How, how does that you know stay the same? But you know you get the other things down. Um, I think I got the strikeouts because I I, I was seeing flashes of it. You know I would um, I would I would sometimes see what I could do. I just could never really fully get into it. And you know, like I said, ever since that happened. Um, I don't know. I just I felt like I was unhittable. I know John always talks about commanding the zone and pounding the strike zone. How much is that a credit to your recent success? Oh yeah, it's huge. I mean, I I, I throw it in there and I challenge every hitter and just you know until until they can until they can prove to me that that um, that they can hit what I'm throwing, then I'm just going to keep throwing it. How does the bullpen just find that consistency and go out there and pitch well like it does the last couple of times every time? Now, are you talking about the entire bullpen? Yeah, just everybody. Oh, just, just... Um, yeah. Well, I mean, our our coaching staff they they they've helped us out a lot, and you know, it's uh, I guess it's a little easier whenever you see a starter go out there and you know run through a lineup once or twice. It kind of gives you a roadmap of what you have to do as a reliever to come in behind them. Being a Mississippi guy, and I know Ole Miss recruited you as well, but talk about how big this weekend series is for you personally. It's it's huge. Um, you know. As, as bad as every other play in that locker room, I want this weekend bad. Um, this is, uh, you know, this is our rivalry game. This is, you know, this is this is everything to us. And so, you know, everybody, re we really want this weekend, and we're going to do everything it takes to to come out on top. And how much does a loss last week stick with y'all going into this weekend? It hurts. It does. It hurts bad, especially since we were, you know, we were so close to, to taking that series from LSU. You know, it, it was it was right there, and. You know, we just didn't. We did. We we came a little short, but um, I think I think last weekend was really big for us because we saw what we could do. And I mean, we, we've known from we, we've known from day one in this season that we could be a really great team. We just hadn't really pieced the puzzle together. And um, I think last weekend, I think last week was really big for us. Are y'all keeping an eye on the standings right now? Just trying to follow where y'all stand in the, as far as Hoover. No, we're just trying to take it day by day, game by game. Just trying to. Uh, Trying to win the next pitch. How much is the eleven to one loss in Jackson on you guys' mind as you head up to Oxford? Um, nobody's really said anything about it up till up till what you just said. I mean, I haven't <laughs> I haven't heard the person say anything about it actually. Um, we, you know, that's that's in the past. We're not we're not really thinking about that. Um, we just we didn't compete that game, and um, we gotta we gotta make some things up whenever we go up there this weekend.